Hello and welcome to the Payne Street Nation StarCraft II Tournament. This is the second StarCraft II Tournament for Payne Street Nation, and I am here with uh, my co-caster, uh, Anubis. Hey! How you doing, Shaky Jakes? I am doing just fine. We've got a perfectly good match between Executive, the Protoss, and Workhorse, the embattled... Terran player who signed up for a little too many tournaments today and uh, had to had to pick and choose who he actually wanted to play. Uh, e e executive actually isn't new to the tournament. He played last time as what was he? Bupkis. Bupkis. And yep. uh, he finally stopped playing on somebody else's account. <laughs> so it should be good. Uh, see what's going on here. Not a whole lot. As it is the first part of oh look at what we have here from Tim actually uh, a pie line coming up oh wow that is interesting pie line placement yeah that's look like he's gonna be going for some fast pressure yeah that, it's, that's gonna put him a little bit closer right there to his opponent's base mr. workhorse and you know what it you don't really oh this is the cheese hard here look at this gateway going down uh, mm -hmm. you know workhorse is gonna scout this He's got nothing at his main right now. going to know something's up. And you do see that I don't think that Executive has, has prepared very much for this sort of cheese either, as he is falling way behind in his Drogon count. Yeah, he uh, he's going real hard on this cheese right here. <laughs> I'm very interested. He's actually putting a pylon down his main a little too late to try to fake. Maybe he's not faking it, but... You know, he's not going to be able to get into the guy's base. Workhouse, is, yeah. Workhouse is going for the wall off now. I think he noticed the cheese, realized something was funky, and uh, he's going to adjust his build to, to manage that. Yeah, perfectly good play for for what he's wanting to accomplish. And he's going to actually scout this proxy. These oh, proxy he did scout it. And uh, <laughs> this is not looking good for executive so far. No, it is not. He's actually, actually, he's moving his barracks. Oh, putting I up going a for bunker. The bunker. I don't, I don't know if you know if Executive can send those zealots up fast enough, take out that bunker. <laughs> he's going to be in a pretty good position, but I don't think he's going to do it. I think he. Uh, I didn't catch whether or not he noticed whether or not his uh, he was actually scouted. Uh. Yeah, he may not know. In which case, he thinks he's got a little bit more time to prepare. But he's got to know that his opponent knows something since his base was scouted. Yeah, I do believe he is going to push out now. Yep, yeah. going out with the uh, four zealots. I yeah. still have two in production. Oh, oh look, if that door that, gets left down. Oh, I, it nope. does not. He's going to no, He's going to leave that SCV alone. He knows that he doesn't have All a right. chance against that bunker. Yeah, and he's going to pull back. Sorry, I do have a bit of a sinus problem right now, so I uh, hear me snorting and you know what that is. Let's see. This what is going to put Executive in a very strange position. The income right here. Workhorse is well ahead because he actually has been saturating his main. And Bucket, uh, I'm going to keep calling him Bucket's Executive's just playing the catch up game right now. You'll notice he actually just went for it double assimilator just now, although he's not filling them in. Yeah, and oh, there we go. a forge, so maybe he's going to wall off with some can I don't know what, I don't know what he's doing, honestly. I've honestly never seen this build before. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's going for some uh, upgrades or something, getting down to cybernetic store, and he actually is building a few cannons just in case uh, Workhorse comes for a quick push into his main Workhorse going for the standard uh, Marine Marauder, it looks like. The three racks expand. Uh, it should be very solid against what uh, Executive throwing at him. He, by no Executive, he's going to push for the very fast uh, delt leg speed. Yeah, and, uh, I, I, I think so. But that concussive shells is coming, so that's. I think that's going to pretty much even out. I think the leg speed may be actually a little bit better than those concussive shells. Uh, but it's going to take him a while to get that. Oh, and this is a very gutsy move by Workhorse. 
gonna try and engage this. There's way too many zealots for him yeah. to handle. He needs to. He's gonna. He's gonna pull back. Thought maybe he's gonna micro those real well. It looks like he's just gonna send them to the main, but he's gonna meet a yeah. cannon on the way. But he's definitely gonna be able to kill one cannon. Depends on whether or not he's gonna be willing to sacrifice those units. Not uh, knowing whether or not he has more cannons behind them. But our <laughs> executive just getting up his Twilight Council. I bet you a bundle once he gets the minerals, those that leg speed's gonna go down. There it is. Yep, there it is. And the chrono boost on that. And that cannon is not gonna be enough, I don't think. Actually. No, oh, it's not. It? It's going down. No, uh, it is gonna go down. And executive pushing in. Oh, and without Warbin, he is yeah. He has got nothing else but to counter. And it's is no way he's gonna be able to break that front. He, needs he to does send look those like back to his main. Yeah, that's gonna be his only shot. He is pulling workers, does manage to take out the Marine. Looks like he will be able to take out that Marauder, but those probes are going to be off mining for so long. Yeah, that's going to set him back a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> income 900 to 0 at this point right now, but going to be able to come back a little bit. And, you know, Workhorse really doesn't need to do a lot at this point to win this game. He just needs to not make any big mistakes. I agree. Uh, you know, executive so far behind at this point. Uh, he uh, does he have that leg yet? He does have the leg speed? Should be finishing yeah. in. It's gonna finish eight in a few game seconds. seconds. <laughs> yep. But I still. I, oh, I just don't and workhorse is gonna try and engage them again. Yep, he is coming. I, I would have they liked to see him wait for his stem. Yes, yeah, stem has a little bit to finish. He's killing off a lot of these. That concussive shell is helping him out a whole lot. But it's not, I don't think it's going to be enough. He is going to have to completely retreat back. And the executive really needs to pull off now. There we go. Building two more gateways. Still, still happy to build them right here. And you know what? It is keeping his opponent from expanding. He's, he actually is moving out his orbital command right now. But as long as Executive scouts that, I think he's going to be able to keep it down. Uh, yep. Looks like he's Workhorse going to try to build a bunker. Uh, but it, really, Executive's got no scouting information. He doesn't know what's going down. So as long, if he doesn't move out, this bunker's going to go down. And that uh, expansion's going to be pretty well protected. Oh, but look what we have here in the main. Uh, or is it in the main? Where is it? Yep, it, no, it's right down here, the Dark Shrine, so he's going to go for some DTs. A gutsy move, but it really is all he's got right now. That uh, bunker does complete. And if he's real careful with the way he micros, he can still go after these SCVs on the mineral line without that bunker bothering him too much. I'm a little concerned and a little confused by his choice of getting the uh, blink even though uh, he's going for that dark shrine uh, he's not going to have enough gas to, uh, to do both uh, an engagement here by workhorse and now if he can get a good force here oh no I was going to say he could pin those units back and keep them from retreating that would really help him out looks like he's going to just try to try to beat this down I don't know if he has enough units looks like he's going to be able to take out that bunker but uh, there's a lot more units here from Workhorse. And more streaming out. A whole lot of Marauders. Does need to pull back in his uh, Zealots in the mix. Oh, he's going to choose to take out the SCVs instead. Which may have been the smarter choice. Except he may lose all of the gateways and his tech. Very bad. I mean, just look at the mineral camp right now. 1,200 to 142 was for, for Executive. Oh, and here comes the DTs, though. Is it gonna? Go, it looks like he's gonna go straight for the orbital command center, or one of them at least. The rest are going. Unfortunately for, for him, those orbital commands have got plenty of energy on both of them. Yeah, as long as he thinks to use it, which he, he doesn't seem to be right now. He he did perform one scan right at the front, uh, which caused him to pull back. He's gonna try to take out this army a little bit, but one scan and it's I think it's all over. Yep, and it looks, I think it's gonna be all over for executive. He is trying to run away with it. Oh, 
Is it gonna get away? It, it did manage to get away. 11 health. But look at oh, all the pylons are down. And he did have another scan left. And, no and that last ET will go down. And uh, any second here with the GG, no doubt. <laughs> no, no! He refuses to give this game up. He's building two gateways in his main as well as two cannons at his front door. He wants to win this game desperately. This is gonna be rather difficult with such a huge food lead in Warcourse's favor. 63 to 25 right now. Uh, he is Although, moving out with a, a group of units. Yeah, Workhorse looks like he wants to end this. He's sick and tired of the games. He's going for a moderate-sized push. Or he may just be going... Oh, there he goes. That's a, that's a good amount of cannons, though. Are there any upgrades on his units? Yeah, there's weapons upgrade one. That, no, he does have a plasma shields upgrade, which does affect his cannons. And... Those cannons are not going to be able to hold. The warp gates are just finishing, though. He's going to be able to pump out a few units and probably defend himself. But it's such an uphill battle at this point. I just think... Oh, and all bringing in the probes to trap the units, that's extremely smart. Yeah, that, that was definitely smart. Because the only thing those marauders have right now is that uh, concussive shell still managing to hold on by a thread and only producing zealots at this point uh, right now workhorse can do anything he wants yep as he is cleaning up the the last of executives uh, buildings down in the bottom right Taking the dog's collar off so he doesn't jingle. Oh, the cat's jingling now. Uh, <laughs> a much larger force. Workhorses. I think this is his final push. It almost has to be. Executive going for that uh, level one uh, weapons. Not going to be enough. These units are going to go down, and I'm calling it GG right now. Right now. I think you may be wrong. <laughs> Where's the GG? Come on, Executive. Desperately wants to win this. For a while now. All the, the zealots just melting to workhorses units. There's the GG. <laughs> there it is. And uh, a very interesting game. Uh, a whole lot of cheese from executive side. It didn't quite pan out for him, uh, but very, very interesting nonetheless.